Welcome to module five, where we are going to look at measuring, measuring, modifying and celebrating. So let's get going. Measure and modify. Why do we measure? Simply, we want to know if we are moving in a forward motion. We want to be able to track our progress and if necessary, readjust. And of course, to celebrate, you've heard me say it over and over, celebrate every little thing. Celebrate that you're up to module five. Celebrate that you've thought about your goals, about your limiting beliefs um, and about how to plan. So, for example, when I did the couch to 5k running app years ago now i knew <laughs> what my baseline measure was i could not even run for 30 seconds i would look at that app when i first started running and go just almost in tears like come on get to the 30 seconds get to the 30 seconds so i had my baseline and i knew that the next day if i could do 35 seconds i had improved and it got to the point where I've now run a couple of half marathons. That's the furthest I've run. And um, I'm really pleased with that, a truckload of 10Ks. But I was very clear at the start where I was starting and if I was moving forward. So why do we modify? Well, we know that life happens. Well, life happens. So. Um, we want to stop this all or nothing mentality. And I have seen it so many times. People have a plan and then one thing or two things throw the plan out and they say, that's it. That's it. I can't do it. I knew I couldn't do it. And all the old limiting beliefs come in and that's the end of it. Self-sabotage. We want to have a realistic approach and we want to embed lifestyle change. And if we learn to modify and adapt, we are saying, no, this is my new lifestyle and I will just navigate this and we'll be back on track. Oh, I just need to manipulate that plan a little bit. Absolutely no drama. When you give yourself that permission, it takes the pressure of the all or nothing off you. Why? Are all these things important because they keep you accountable? They maintain focus. You take control of your journey. You become reactive to the need to change. You keep the momentum going and you raise awareness to start managing your plans proactively. So, for example, for the last 18 months, I have worked, walked 10,000 steps every single day. I have not missed a day. Yesterday, I missed a day. We're in the snow and we're enjoying time together as a family and I fell short of the 10,000. So that's the first time in 18 months. Does that mean that I just quit walking? No, I know that this is now my lifestyle and I know that life's happening and I didn't want to miss out. I was more intent on creating memories with my family than going out. I have got no concern that I'm not going to pick it up again. I know I will because it now is who I am, but I responded to life. How good is this? Celebrate. Come on, everyone. Celebrate. Celebrate. Do not wait until you have achieved your goal. The achievement comes at the end. Executing on your plan is the courageous act that is leading to this lifestyle change. Every step you take against the plan is a win and worthy of celebration. Reframe and retrain your mind. What is worth celebrating? You are worth celebrating. The fact that you're showing up for yourself now, the fact that you're um, just about to finish module five. Celebrate. All right, so we have spoken about goals, about limiting beliefs, about planning, consistency, measuring and modifying and celebrating. You are armed with the tools to go out and change your life. Join us in the um, Facebook group. Get active in there. 
Follow me on all the socials. I love engaging with people. I want to see you live the rest of your life as the best of your life. Thank you so much for joining us. And I can't wait to hear about the goal you've achieved and the success that it's brought and how you are feeling about yourself now. Be blessed.